tired of you treating me like a child when I'm a grown adult and I deserve to be treated like it. Wait, why would anyone treat someone like a kid for not having a job, not being able to provide for themselves, not having any talent, depending on grandma for everything in their life, and not taking a shred of accountability for their actions? Cyrax is raging against his aunt again, and he's even more unhinged now than he was last time. If you want to see the original footage, it's over on Inboy's channel. I got the link below. Warning, after you see this, you're going to feel even more angry with Cyrax than you ever have before. The way he talks about his aunt is not cool. What's good, everybody? At CVG, I know you're going to be watching this. And to my former now dead sister, I know you're going to be watching this as well. He calls her his sister, but she's actually his aunt. So sit your little fat ass down, Bailey. Oh. Your 300 pound cow, you may as well sit down. He called her a cow. Come on, so Cyrax. So just sit on your ass and listen up. Not cool, Cyrax. Not cool. To talk about anybody that way. You know what's funny? Not cool, Cyrax. About you, CVG. The fact that you do nothing but spew motherfucking lies. But... We'll, we'll get to that in a minute. I got some personal business, Dale and Tar. Hey, Dale, you wanna know why I fucking disowned your fucking dumbass? She's the one that disowned you, Cyrax. Because I got tired of your ass treating me like a goddamn motherfucking kid. I got fucking sick of it. I got fucking tired of it. So yeah, I cut your ass off, bitch. Well, you act like a kid. You can't even bathe yourself. Sally used to have to bathe you till she gave up and now you don't get bathed anymore. I got your ass cut off because I got sick and tired of your fucking ass treating me like a little fucking kid that's every not, fucking day. That's even not, though I'm a motherfucking grown ass man. No you're not. All you ever do is treat me like a kid. The only thing grown man about you is the fact that you have a skullet and all that very unkempt facial hair. Even though I'm a grown ass motherfucking man. No, you're not. Oh, for the record. Oh, for the record. Hang on, first off, let me. You are a baby boy trapped in the body of a, uh, of a goblin. You ain't no man, Cyrax. Do you take care of yourself? Do you provide for yourself? Do you provide for anyone else? Do you make a living? Are you mature? Are you stable? Are you sane? CVG, when Heather fucking lived here, you dumbass motherfucker. She kept me locked in my goddamn motherfucking room and wouldn't fucking let me leave, you dumb little fucking bitch. <laughs> bitch, that was a good bitch. She kept you locked in that room because you were trying to run outside because you were mad at night. You were going, Ree! and you're trying to run outside at night. Heather said, you can't do that. You're going to get hurt, little baby boy. You can't defend yourself. <laughs> we saw what happened when you ran up on Marty. She was protecting you, okay? Because you're a baby boy. You need to be protected. That's why Sally locked you in that house whenever the cops showed up. Because you can't go outside. You're not mature enough. Shout out to CVG, too. If you haven't seen CVG's new channel, AI Wilkins is the name of it, right? He's like used AI to make it sound like Cyrax is actually singing songs in tune. And what's so funny is that Cyrax's voice still sounds hilariously funny, even when he's in proper tune. It's amazing. AI Wilkins. I'll drop the link to it in the pinned comment below. It's amazing. And CVG made it. It's so funny. We were on a motherfucking stream. She would not let me fucking leave my goddamn room to go cool off. <laughs> she held me hostage in my own fucking room. You need, I, to, you need to be contained. You need to be in a cage. He's become so much more unhinged since all this stuff started. So sit down and shut your bitch ass up, CVG. Bitch, CVG the bitch. Oh, Dale, do you want to know why you're on mom's motherfucking permanent shit list? Do you want to know why? Because you fly out said you never gave a fuck about me or her. Well, she can't, because Sally's just going to keep enabling you like she always has. I'm sure that Dale tried. She tried to help Sally. She tried to talk some sense into her. She can't. Sally sides with you and she enables you. She even sticks up for you against Ed. You ruin people's lives, man. Which proves you're a lying little cunt bag bitch. Oh, damn. His aunt. He and while we're telling the fucking truth, why so sort of worry about your fucking failure of a son, Damien Ray? He keeps doing this too. Look at him. That's his smug look. He's like, I, got, I, I have you now. No, look, man. Quit calling her son a failure, Cyrex. You have no 
right to call anybody a failure. You're such an asshole. And look, maybe her son did go to jail, maybe multiple times. At this point, who's worried about that? Who's concerned about that? That has nothing to do with you and your bullshit. That's his life. We're not talking about him. We're talking about you, you asshole. Same thing you do when you talk about Tony. Talk about Tony this, Tony that. Tony has nothing to do with you and what you've done. Neither does this cousin that you're talking about. So leave it out. You're just being an ass. He went out. His teachers were so scared of him that they pushed him through school. Nah. What does that have to do with you, though? That has nothing to do with you. Quit trying to bring other things into this conversation that aren't part of it. You're just trying to deflect this shit. God damn it, dude. It was him being motherfucking lazy. And you know, who the fuck are you calling lazy? And while we're at it, why don't you tell him the truth about how that fucking piece of shit failed your son of yours oh. has been to jail more times than even I can count. More times than you, Raxel? Did he ever beat up his grandma and go to jail for that? <laughs> no, seriously, it pisses me off hearing him call anybody a failure. You of all people cannot call anyone a failure, all right? That's projection, man. And the reason you're talking about him like that is because you feel all these bad little goblin feelings inside of you, okay? How about that? Wow. How about you tell him the truth, Dale? Tell him about how Danny has been to jail more times than even I have. Again, nothing to do with this. He has nothing to do Why with this. Why are you telling the truth? Nothing to do with this. Nothing. I mean, while we're talking about it, you may as well tell him the truth, Dale. Why are you telling him how your room's a fucking pigsty compared to mine? Her room is yeah, a pigsty? Yeah, there's a few things laying around in my bed. But as you can see, I got a bunch of fucking shit from things over the years. So, I have a reason to not have room. Your shit... You got no fucking reason. Again, the cleanliness of her home has nothing to do with this, dude. Maybe she has a clean house, maybe she doesn't. Who, who, who's worried about that? That has nothing to do with this. You're just deflecting all of your bullshit and trying to make this other person look bad. It's pathetic, dude. It's stupid. What is wrong with you? Hey, you want to talk about me not having a job? Look, you can't talk about her not being clean and stuff. I guarantee you she takes more baths than you do, you bastard. Look at you, Dale. All you do is sit up there on your fucking computer and play IMVU all day and play motherfucking pretend. IMVU? Well, she, she gets down that IMVU? Do y'all know what that is? IMVU. It was real popular back in the day. I don't know if it's still as popular. It's where you make your avatar and you can go to like virtual worlds and stuff. He's mad that she's on that IMVU. I bet you the only reason Cyrax never played IMVU is because he can't figure out how to do it. I'm out here busting my fucking ass doing what I want to do with my motherfucking life. Trying to do my music. Trying to music. get my art back up and going. Art. <laughs> right click, save as, add a smudge effect to it, Cyrax. Trying to get my gaming shit back up and going. Gaming. And making real fucking money. Not fake ass bullshit IMVU money. That's <laughs> I am all you do is sit there and play fucking pretend all goddamn day. That's all hey man, ain't nothing wrong with IMVU. Anybody getting down with IMVU, do your thing. I thought that shit was cool, man. I remember it from back in the day. You do. <laughs> you sit up there and you play fucking pretend. IMVU. On a fucking computer through a site called <laughs> IMVU. <laughs> and yeah, sure, you might make a few dollars here and there. But let me tell you right now, Dale. That's all you do. You sit up there and you play fucking pretend. Yeah, well, all you do is make a fool of yourself every day. Wearing WrestleMania t-shirts, man. That's just the icing on the cake. Because it matches his tone that he's doing. His whole, you know, WWE promo thing he always does. And you go, oh, woe is me. When I'm actually out here busting my goddamn motherfucking ass. So, Dale, instead of sparking your bitch-ass punk mouth, Damn. Over the goddamn internet? Damn. Watch fucking call me up, bitch. You got my number? Damn. Call me up and we'll fucking settle this shit. For some reason, I think she probably doesn't want to talk to you, Cyrex. I mean, does anybody? You're an asshole, dude. Why are you too fucking chicken shit to do that? Oh, wait, I forgot. You're too fucking scared. Because you know damn well I know the goddamn truth. Wow. You know damn well you're a lying little bitch. Can you imagine talking to your aunt this way? Didn't she let him and Sally live with her when they first moved up there? She gave him a place to stay, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. 
But even if she'd hadn't, I mean, to talk to your family this way? What the fuck? What do we expect, though? We know he gave Sally a one-two, man. Hit her with that Saturday night special. You should not be talking to your family this way. You really suck as a person. I mean, as if we didn't already know that. Fuck, dude. Like Mom said last night, you're living in a goddamn fantasy world, bitch. What? You're the one in a fantasy world. Sally said that? Dude, fuck Sally. I, I ain't got no love for Sally no more. Time to come with that fuck back down to earth. She's bringing that punk ass back down to earth. You're living in a fantasy world, Dale, and you need to knock it the fuck off. Projection Goblin. Oh, and CBG, just shut the fuck up and go the fuck on somewhere. Is he oh, so man. mad? At, is he so mad at CVG because of that AI Wilkins channel? Again, it's cool. If you haven't seen it, I got the link below. It's so cool. And I'm wondering if maybe that's part of why he's so mad at him now. There's a cloud chasing nobody. That's all you are. All a dead friend design? You ain't gonna do shit, homeboy. Uh -oh. You already know you ain't gonna do shit. Cause guess what? If you move over here, we have the proof of you sitting there saying that you're gonna harass us. So if I was you, I'd shut the fuck up. Self and go the fuck on somewhere. Self-fulfilling prophecy. So Dale, what's it gonna be? Are you gonna shut your little bitch ass mouth up? Wow. And shut up and be quiet? Wow. Like a good little bitch? And oh. stop fucking making this up. This is life? your aunt you're talking about. This is just gonna inspire everybody to expose the truth about even more. Again, a lot of us ain't saints. But we don't never talk to no family like that. That's just wrong. I can't fathom talking to your aunt like that. What an asshole. It's about me and mom and our family? Or do I have to continue to call you the fuck out? What an asshole. Because the more I'm I hope I hope that all the other relatives see this too. I'm surprised if her son finds out about this. I don't think he's gonna appreciate you talking about his mama like that, dude. He's gonna whoop your ass, man, and you deserve it. No, maybe he won't. He probably doesn't want to go to jail over you. Most people don't want to go to jail over you. But if it weren't for the whole going to jail thing, dude, everybody would be whooping up on you, man. The more I call you out, wow. the more I speak the real motherfucking truth. <laughs> wow. I'll tie your little bitch ass over here, treat me like a kid while I'm a grown-ass man. No, you're not. You're gone. Who actually does shit. No, you don't. Who actually attempts to make a real fucking living. No, you don't. When you don't even do shit. Oh, for the record, Dale. Just for the record. Okay? Okay. That weight that you have. Maybe if you actually tried to fucking work out. And actually got up and did shit. Like, go for walks. Maybe you actually get someone. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Well, like I said, Dale. Maybe if you actually get off your fucking ass, go outside and go for a fucking goddamn walk, or go to a fucking gym, you might lose that weight, and you oh. might solve a lot of your goddamn health issues. Oh, now you're going to try to insult her for her weight? Not cool. Talking about people's weight and all that, just not cool. And it just shows us more that you're an asshole. Maybe if you're friends with somebody and you're joking around and you know they're okay with it, then okay, but... But trying to use somebody's weight or how they look as like a direct insult to upset them and hurt their feelings? That's just shit behavior, Cyrax. You are shit. Goblin shit. So why don't you sit down and shut the fuck up? That's what you need to do. Because hell, me and mom are sick of your motherfucking lies. I'm especially sick of your lies about me. She didn't tell any lies about you. Everything she said was real. You're the one who lies. And you keep denying it. I hope they play this stuff in court. You think they will? They gotta play it in court to show how unhinged he is. He just pisses me off. I want to break something so bad right now, man. We're all fucking tired of it, Dale. And you wonder why I cut your ass off. You wonder why I want nothing to do with you. You wonder why you're fucking dead to me. Because, because she doesn't enable you like Sally does. Because of the fucking lies that you speak about me. She doesn't lie. And all the bullshit that you say. To these fucking assholes who want to do nothing but motherfucking bully me, Dale. All she did was say the truth about you. Because of what you've put your family through. You think she appreciates what you do to her mom? Fuck no, she doesn't appreciate it. She probably enjoys sharing the truth with people who know about this fucked up story. 
Imagine if someone was mistreating your own mom. And then you find out there's a lot of people online learning about them and they are fascinated with how evil the person is. Hell yeah, you'd want to share your story and that's what she does. She has every right to, Cyrax. And the way you act, the how you defensive you get, and the lies you tell about her now, it just shows that everything she says is 100% true, man. If any of y'all haven't heard the interview, really, really good stuff. I'm dropping that in the pinned comment as well. Shut your fat ass up, you dumbass little cunt. What an ass. All you are is a fucking shit talker. All you're doing is running your mouth for two things, money and fame. Look, dude, she ain't making no money talking about you. I don't think he paid her for that interview, just did it for fun. He ain't she trying to make no money talking about you. Some of us make a good amount of money talking about you. And you said she wants fame? Famous for being Cyrax and? Are you stupid? Oh, no shit, you're stupid. That's all you want, money and recognition. You don't give a fuck about nobody else but your damn self. That's you. You're the one that doesn't care about anybody but yourself. She cares about her mom. She doesn't like what you do to her mom, what you put her through, or the fact that Sally enables you. You pissing this all off. If you're half as pissed off as I am right now, please hit the thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. You said it yourself last night in one of the interviews. You said it yourself. You never really gave a fuck about mom. You never really cared. We all heard it, Dale. We all sat right there and heard it. So Dale, do yourself a favor and shut the fuck up. Well. Because we're all tired of your fucking lies. We're tired of your fucking excuses. Wow. You need to sit the fuck down and you need to shut that goddamn hole in your face you call a goddamn fucking mouth. My friends, how did he become like this? How did he become such a bad person? Such a bad, I can't say human being, but by bad goblin. Is it because he didn't have any guidance growing up? His dad was in prison for what he did on that bike path. His mom was a, uh, and his grandma just, I guess she just didn't have it in her to, to raise a decent human being, you know? He's just a little monster, man. You ever seen Little Monsters? That's a good movie, Little Monsters. You are just the worst person I've ever seen, man. It's horrible. We're all tired of your bullshit, Dale. It's horrible. We're all tired of you stealing the fucking family issues all over the internet. I didn't do that shit. That was you that started that shit, bitch. You always put your family shit on the internet, dude. You! This whole video is just projection. I can't believe that like two to three years ago when I started doing this shit on him, I thought maybe there was a chance he could be saved from being a complete piece of shit. I was wrong. But that's what everyone thinks at the very beginning when they first learn about him. But then after like a couple of days, they're like, okay, there's no saving this bastard. So keep your fucking mouth shut. Well. And oh, for the record, you never fucking were around when Bill was around. You were around very fucking rarely. When Bill was in the hospital with cancer, you maybe once or twice went up there to see him. You never went to see him, you freaking asshole! And you even said that! The reason I never went to see him in the hospital was because I had to stay at home and watch the house to make sure nobody broke into it. So what the hell are you talking about she never went and saw him at the hospital? You're the one who never went to the hospital, and you already admitted that! Now you're going backtrack and you're going to try to say you were with him at the hospital? Liar! But me and mom, we were out there every fucking week. No, you weren't! Sally was. Sally was there with him all the time. You weren't. And you said it was because you had to stay home and watch the house to make sure nobody broke into it. But really, it's because you wanted to play your video games and make your music. And that's why you never went and visited him, because you didn't care about him. You didn't love him. And now you're lying. Again. Big surprise there. That's all he does is lie. What an asshole. And that was her brother. I'm sure she loved him. That was her brother. And you're talking about him like that? What an evil person. What little goblin. Every fucking day. All fucking day. Some days I would be up there with her. Some days she would be up there by herself. No, you weren't. You never went. You already said you never went. Now you're lying. Like always. You're such a liar. The only time your ass came up there is when he was on his fucking deathbed. That's the only time you ever came up Such there. a liar. liar. When my older brother was on his fucking deathbed, you never once came up to see him. Oh. I at least attempted to fucking see him. I at least attempted to see him, right? But the reason you couldn't was because you could just stay home and watch the house to make sure nobody broke in while playing that racing game of yours. Rest in peace to Cyrax's uncle. 
He was the one who called the police on Cyrax when Cyrax beat up his grandma Sally. That's the only reason the police were called, was because of his uncle. His uncle was the only hope that they had of order, of keeping Cyrax in check. Cyrax didn't love him though, he didn't even visit him. Once his uncle was gone, he said, this is free reign now, I make the rules around here now, nobody to keep me in line. That's kind of sad, isn't it? And now he's spitting all over his uncle's legacy by saying what? That he went and visited him. No, you didn't. You're lying. You didn't care about him. You try to use him for sympathy, though. Whenever it fits your little goblin motives, you try to use him. The reason I have this number on my racing car is because of my brother. That you never even visited in the hospital, dude. You are an asshole. So why don't you sit down and shut the fuck up? What an asshole. Talking about, oh, I did this. You didn't do jack shit. Pro All right? Projection. Mom was the main one up there at the fucking hospital with him. Yeah, Sally, not you. And when she wasn't up there with him, and he was here at home doing hospital shit at home, I was constantly helping her the fuck out. No, you weren't, asshole. You were still playing your stupid video games and making your music. You weren't helping her. You never help her with anything. That poor old woman. She can't even convince you to get your fucking clothes out of the drawer. She can't even get you to take a bath by yourself without her cleaning you. While you were sitting there doing this on your little fucking keyboard. Then shut the fuck up. Wow. Just sick. This you is ain't sick. never been about shit, Dale. No, you. You ain't ever gonna be about shit. You, Projection. You wanna call me a little kid? Look in the mirror. At least I don't sit on the fucking internet. And play dumbass IMBU and play dress up all fucking day long. <laughs> no, you just do this instead. I'm glad you do, man. If you were just playing IMBU, nobody would want to watch you do that, Rex. This is so much better. That's your ass. At least I actually try to do real shit that can make me a real fucking living. Sure it and can. And guess what? Sure I've can. proven that I can do that shit. Have you? I've proven that I can make a living off my music, and that I can make a living off of my fucking streams. Really? Because guess what, bitch? Before I got kicked off Twitch, I was making $111 a fucking week on top of my fucking sponsors that I had before these dumbass fucking trolls came in and fucked it up for their own selfish game. Okay, you've never had any sponsors. Nobody with half a brain cell would fucking sponsor you. And $111 a week? No, you didn't. You made about $100 in that month that you were on there because of these stupid fucking buddy trolls who wanted to send money to you. Anybody who sends this asshole money, you're a fucking idiot. But it was because of buddy trolls on there who were giving you money, trying to get in good with you so that they can troll you and stuff. And trolling Rack, so do, do what that will shall be the whole of the law. But giving this dude money when you see how he treats his family and shit? But that's all it was, man. You made $100 that month, and then they rightfully kicked you off because you made some very bad decisions, very bad choices, Goblin, and you were held accountable for those. And then Twitch said, uh-oh, we can't have this guy on here. He's very, very, very dangerous for um the youngsters on here. We don't want that. So I don't want to hear jack shit out of your fucking mouth about I never did a goddamn thing. You haven't. So sit down and shut the fuck up. You haven't. Becoming a lol cow. Very infamous lol cow. To the point where you get a couple buddy trolls on there, giving you some money on your Twitch. That That's nothing to brag about, Cyrax. You ain't nothing but a mooch. You ain't nothing but a fucking bottom feeder. You're calling her a mooch? You ain't nothing but a coattail rider. And honestly, Dale, at this point, you're no better than CBG. Hell, at this point, I dare say, you're no better than motherfucking music, bitch face, fat ass, Bald-headed, idiotic, dumbass Marty. Oh, you know he's mad now. And who you call him bald-headed, man? You got a skullet. You're no better than him. You're no better than Michael Hacking. You're no motherfucking <laughs> better than goddamn William bitch-ass Gloryhole. William Gloryhole, he's the man. You're just as bad as they are. <laughs> you know he's mad now. You're just as bad. <laughs> As they are. Comparing her to William Glory Hole, you know he's mad. So, Dale, do yourself a favor and shut the fuck up. Damn. Because all you're doing is spewing lies, bitch. So, as of this moment, Dale, I say this. What's that? Fuck you. Sometimes I think the more rings that these guys wear, the lower their IQ is. 
You're fucking dead to me, and you're our mom's permanent shit list forever, bitch. So have a nice life without me or my mom in your life. She will. Ain't nobody wants you in their life. Now, if you ever do want a chance to have mom back in your life, I suggest you shut the fuck up. Well, isn't that a vile thing to say? If you do want mom back in your life, I suggest you shut the fuck up. He's talking about her mother. What a vile thing to say. You are a bad guy from a movie in real life. You're just diabolical, man. Good thing you're too stupid to do anything actually serious. Well, no, you have done serious things with those uh, those kiddos, man. You gotta stay away from them, you bastard. Wise enough, and you stop running your mouth at these fucking assholes. Oh, so he's trying to scare her, trying to threaten her into getting what he wants. This is what he always does. He tries to threaten people and scare them into doing what he wants. So unlikable. I suggest you fucking get on your goddamn knees and you beg for mom's forgiveness. It's too late for Sally. Sally's always going to side with you and enable you. And maybe she's just given up at this point. Maybe she's just stupid. Probably a little bit of both, to be honest. But she's always going to side with you. And it's just pathetic. She's pathetic now. I don't have any sympathy for her anymore. Always. Hey, maybe. But it's because she's scared of you, too. We all know what you did to her. Pa! She don't want another uppercut. <laughs> if, if you can reach her. <laughs> and if Mom forgives you, maybe, just maybe, I'll forgive you. Wow. Just maybe I'll fucking forgive you for the shit that you've done to me. Is she gonna forgive you? Is the maybe. question. Maybe. She ain't gonna forgive you for Actually, what you've done. Actually, second thought, no, I won't. I can never forgive you for turning your back on me. For telling the truth about you? Like I said, the minute you started treating me like a little kid, and the minute that you wouldn't stop treating me like a little kid, is the minute that I fucking disown you. Because I got tired of you treating me like a fucking child. When I'm a grown ass fucking adult. And I deserve to be treated like it. Wait. Why would anyone treat someone like a kid for not having a job, not being able to provide for themselves, not having any talent, depending on grandma for everything in their life, and not taking a shred of accountability for their actions? Hell, mom treats me like an adult. Ed treats me like a grown ass adult. So giving you baths because you refuse to bathe yourself, that's, that's treating you like an adult? No, but if Sally treats you the way you want to be treated, that's because she's afraid of you. We all know what you've done to her multiple times. And Ed just wants to be there because of Sally. So he puts up with your crap, uh, except for when he can't anymore, and then he gives you a knuckle sandwich. Everybody else in the world does, but you're the only one that doesn't. No, they don't. None of, none of us see you as an adult, Cyrex. We see you as a goofy, goofy, immature kid. Because you're too fucking stupid upstairs to understand that I'm not a little kid. I'm a grown-ass adult, <laughs> and I deserve to be fucking treated like it. No, you don't. Hell, even your own pathetic son, Damien. And quit talking about her son. It just shows what an asshole you are. You can call him as pathetic as you want, Cyrex. Compared to you, he's fucking Elon Musk, okay? Treats me like more of an adult than you do. So sit down and shut your bitch ass up, Dale. I'm tired of your shit. Mom's tired of your shit. We're all sick of it, Dale. So you best stop stealing them fucking lies. Because if you don't, every video that you get on, I'm gonna motherfucking report. I'm gonna have it shut down. Oh, and I will come after you for motherfucking slander and defamation of character. Slander and defamation of character. Cyrex, you've already got all of that on lock. No one can uh, slander you or defamate your character to the degree that you have yourself. The degree that you continue to do so. You've got that on lock. Don't think I can? Try me. I've got the manpower to do it too. And I will. I will. Same with you, CBG. You keep on doing this shit, you're going to be added to that list as well, boy. Same with you, Death by Design. You're going on that list as well. Oh, wait, I forgot. You two already are on that list. But like I said, Dale, if you want to be added to that fucking list, keep oh. running your fucking mouth. Does he just not understand that acting like this is just going to piss everybody off and going to inspire more people to start spreading the truth about him? I see more and more Raxed Out channels popping up covering Rax, and I love to see it. I love to see it. You know why? Because that's spreading the word, right? That's spreading the word. It's like we're all evangelists now of Raxism, and we're telling everybody about it. We said we're going to make this boy the new Christian, and that's what we're doing. 
Watch how fucking fast it gets you for how watch how fucking quick I get you for defamation of character and motherfucking slander. But so her Just telling watch. her telling the truth about you is defamation of character and slander? Watch. So Dale, fair warning. Shut the fuck up. Or I'm coming out to your ass for fucking slander and defamation, bitch. Damn. Wow. Oh, and Dale. Fuck you, bitch. Damn. Get okay. deadbeat. Deadbeat? You calling her a deadbeat? <laughs> Who are you calling a deadbeat, Cyrex? Let's read the comments. This is my favorite part of the video. Oh, oh, Neewix. Chance doesn't work. Can't bathe himself. Can't shave his own face. Can't make his own food. Can't do laundry. And spends all day playing video games. How dare she treat him like a kid? Dust to dust. I don't think I've ever seen anyone in the free world as delusional as Cyrax. Me neither, my friend. Me neither. That's why he's so fascinating, right? Chris says, Someone who wears a child samurai costume, plays with toys all day, and is 100% dependent on his mom getting upset at being treated like a child is freaking hilarious. Absolutely it is. 42 words. Hi, Chance. I just wanted to let you know that it gives me sincere, heartfelt pleasure to watch you somehow always manage to outdo whatever pathetic, cringing failure you experienced the day before. It is the only genuinely impressive thing about you. No matter how low Cyrax sinks, he's always going to sink lower the next time. That's impressive, it is. Brian says, the amount of projection this man does on a daily basis is astounding. It truly is. Neon. He runs through phases more than most teenagers. Bet tomorrow will be some sappy stream. You know it will, with his eyes closed the whole time. Platinum Dragon Slayer. His delusions and projections are truly astounding on a whole other level. You threw away what few kids you had left in your life for this creature, Sally. I hope it was worth it. I hope Cyrax remembers this when Sally is gone and he has no one left. User. He's a grown man. He doesn't even pay for his own meals. He doesn't pay for anything, does he? He refuses to get a job. He's delusional. Abe. It'll be gold when his aunt disowns him when he no longer has Sally to take care of him. Oh, you know he's going to want his family to let him move in. Hell yeah, he is. You better go pitch a tent over at Summit Lake, Raxo. I hate everything. All you do is play pretend all day. If this isn't the biggest pot kettle moment of my life, reality check, Chance. Yeah, projection. Pure projection from the goblin. Nike. I love how Sally and Ed have already given up trying to shut him up, letting him just continue digging his grave. Also love that calling people out is going to do anything to people. He shit talks to his aunt who doesn't even watch his videos. Emo cake. Maybe he thinks he can get an insanity plea, but doesn't realize it's way too late. Cody. We're stuck in the spin cycle, watching his eyes try to escape his skull. They're trying, all right? Picklesworth. Ed, save me. Ed, I don't want to go to jail. A real grown-up thing for you to say, Cyrax. It's pathetic how delusional he is. The Rich Desk. He wonders why people mess with him and no one likes him. He's just a hateful little creature who is so steeped in delusion, it's sad at this point. If he escapes a prison sentence, then the best thing is probation with no internet access. If that happens, we all know he'll break it anyway. <laughs> you know he'll be back. He always comes back. Scentless Apprentice. And this is yet another example of why nobody feels sorry for him. David. Your Aunt Lynn has contributed more to the world than you ever will, Goblin. I can't believe Sally would turn her back on her seemingly most normal kid in favor for this creature that causes her nothing but strife. You all will get just what you deserve. That's a great point. Did Sally really turn her back on Dale to side with Cyrax? That's horrible. If so, maybe Sally just gave up on life. Maybe she's just terrified of him and she doesn't want to get beat up again. I just don't know. But for Sally to... to support Raxo over Dale? Not cool, Sally. You need to get your act together. Meh, Maddie. Stop treating me like a kid. I am grown ass man. Even my mom says so. More times than I can count. Your room is a pigsty compared to mine. All you do is sit up in your room all goddamn day playing pretend. So much gold. It's all projection, isn't it? It's all projection. The Almighty Jack. This latest video is honestly one of the most infuriating things he's done in a while. As much as we joke about how dumb Chase is, 
This is just absolutely cruel and just further proves why we need to get Chase institutionalized. Absolutely, Jack. Great point. He is cruel. He is as cruel as it gets. He's so foul. And it's really, really good that he is not intelligent enough or good looking enough to ever actually convince someone to actually be with him and like start a family with him. Because imagine if, imagine if he somehow had his own little goblin family and he treated his kids. I mean, he's just a bad person. Can you imagine how messed up they would be growing up with him as their dad? Ew, can you imagine Cyrex being a dad? Dude, that would be one fucked up family, dude. Holy shit. Damn. You know what's so funny is he would completely disagree. He'd be like, no, I would raise my kids right. <laughs> no, you fucking wouldn't, dude. You'd be doing something to him, all right, though. We know what you'd be doing, you nasty dude. Jay, I don't think Chase comprehends reality, time, or change the way a regular person does, and it's all Sally's fault. He's never had any real expectations put on him, whether it be from school, friends, family, peers, work. Everybody has always felt sorry for him, so they just let him slide through life, and he's never been put in a position to have any real responsibilities outside of the ones he's made up. And since Sally's always taken care of him, he's never had to face reality. She said she loved her mom, and that it hurts her that her mom disowned her to protect a little monster. Everyone wants to know, why is Sally protecting him? Four days, and it's solo flight to the end. Rent paid, zero. Miles driven, zero. Fights won, zero. Grown men don't cry. Mommy, help! Mommy, help! Yeah, he was crying, all right. He's a little baby boy, man. The way he was crying when he got arrested. The importance of family for Chase. Yeah, he doesn't care about his family at all. Beats up his grandma and talks to his aunt like this. Just foul, just foul. Cyrax, we're all pissed off at you, man. I mean, we always were, but especially now. You're just digging yourself in deeper and deeper and deeper. He doesn't act like an adult or a human. He doesn't. He's evil. He's so evil. She's funny in the evening stream with CVG, William, and Death by Design. She's already a better content creator than Rex without even trying to be. Could not provide one example or scrap of evidence of why he deserves to be treated like an adult. It legit capped out at, Because your son treats me like more of an adult. <laughs> what does that even mean? I'm hoping her son might give Cyrax a one too, but again, I don't think he will. He probably doesn't want to go to jail over Cyrax. He tried to hold Sally hostage. How messed up is that? It truly shows what a disgusting, vile person he is. Dale dodged a bullet. He was supposed to come live with her after Sally passed. I believe in helping family when they're down, but some members just aren't worth it. Sally has clearly made her bed, so when she's laying in it, yelling at Chase, Chance, Chance, I need my medicine. And Chance opens up with, I'm streaming, I'm streaming, mom. So shut the fuck up, or you won't get any medicine or food tonight. Well, that's on you, Sally. Yeah, you know he's not going to give her any care, do anything for her. He never has, he never will. He doesn't care about her. She's going to rot away in that room when she needs his help. He's not going to do anything for her. He's, damn, he's probably just going to go in there and start giving her a knuckle sandwich again. I made $100 a week. Cyrax made $100 a month. And $100 a week is still not really something you can live off of. That's right, he said that in the video. He goes, I made $100 a week. Yeah. Cyrex probably doesn't actually know the difference between weeks or months. In Goblin Time, it all just kind of blends together. Saturated content. Dude might actually be bipolar. He goes from fake crying to garner sympathy to his bragging, bizarre goblin behavior, I suppose. Hell yeah, he does. Dead man. The idea that Cyrex thinks whatever he does all day is work makes me sick. I've never seen anyone so lazy. Yes, absolutely, he's lazy and untalented. The Goblin Slayer. I believe the court gets this, so whenever he claims he protects his family, they can see the true monster he is. I can't wait for the court to see this. They need to see, they need to know the truth. And I hope this judge, I hope this judge does her due diligence. I hope she doesn't just feel bad for him because of, you know, the reasons that some people feel bad for him. Because once you dive into this a little bit, you learn a little bit more about this person, you have zero sympathy whatsoever. Hey, we've got a playlist covering Cyrax. We've got countless hours of this stuff. I want you to come check it out. I just popped it up on the screen over there, right there. Did you come see it? Huh? And I'll see you later. If you're new, subscribe. I'll keep you up to date. You know I will. Much love, baby. Much love.